Hey guys, you know that some people regard lead AVR as the forgotten lead, maybe not stressed enough by some educators, but I call it the unforgotten lead, and that's because missing the pathology that it represents can lead to devastating consequences as many of us have experienced. Let's take a look at today's case and see how things unfolded. So here's the case. This was an 85 year old female who during hemodialysis became confused, complaining of nausea and lightheadedness. Now, oftentimes these patients are actually do get this way, feeling out of sorts, confused due to the fluid shifts. And so it's not that unusual. And they also tend to be hypotensive. And she in fact had no chest pain. Her blood pressure was about 90 over 70. Now, but because she appeared ill, uh, the staff stopped hemodialysis immediately and called 911. And on arrival, paramedics, in fact, found her to be confused, pale, sweaty. And now she's complaining of chest heaviness. Uh, they went ahead and assessed her and uh, got, an, uh, got a 12 lead ECG. And here's their initial 12 lead ECG at the dialysis center. Now, you take a look and see what you think. Uh, go ahead and stop the video here and see if you can analyze this 12 lead ECG. Now, a closer look at um, AVR V1 and the precordial leads, you know, shows what's uh, really what's quite abnormal. And there are elevations in both AVR and V1, uh, but no real significant depressions yet of the lateral precordial leads. Um, and there you go. They can see the ST elevations quite pronounced in AVR V1. Uh, she was transported to the hospital, and en route, she developed more chest pain, and her blood pressure worsened also. Uh, and uh, they went ahead and got a second 12 lead ECG, and here's what it showed. I can see more dramatic elevations of the ST segments in AVR, V1, and look at V3 and V4 through V6. There are now profound depressions of the J point, the ST segments. And that is a change in the ECG as compared to the first one. So the paramedics in this case recognized this was something ominous, something bad. And they went ahead and called this a STEMI, uh, called the ED. And because of uh, the, their call, the cath lab was, uh, was present in triage. And she appeared ill to them also. And given this very worrisome ECG, uh, she was taken directly to the cath lab without even stopping and getting an ED 12 lead ECG. And cath lab findings, well, uh, you know, there was a near total occlusion of the left main coronary artery. She was uh, quite unstable the entire time, received a balloon pump and was taken for immediate bypass surgery. Now she did well, she got discharged back to rehab and had a, had a fair outcome without any complications. Um, so, you know, what can we learn from a case like this? Well, when patients have ischemic symptoms, not necessarily chest pain, ischemic symptoms, uh, you should always make sure that uh, you look at AVR because ST elevations of, you know, one millimeter or greater in AVR and sometimes in, in, in V1, along with lateral reciprocal depressions, uh, can mean uh, significant disease of the uh, left main or the proximal LAD. Now, you know, the, the consequences are quite great. Uh, um, you know, mortality is high, up to 70% in patients who don't receive PCI, yet with immediate PCI, that mortality can be significantly reduced by about 40%. So remember that time to PCI in these patients is the only predictor of improved survival. So let's dive back down to this and take a look at the baseline. There's the baseline here, uh, the TP segment. And the J point is, boy, I tell you what's two millimeters up here. And um, it's sort of in each contiguous lead, they're two millimeters. So this is not our fact. And looking at V1 even, there's a one millimeter elevation in V1. And uh, it's not as great as AVR, but that's okay. It's still elevated. Um, the uh, that itself is a significant finding right there. So uh, prognosis, well, you know, ST elevation uh, elevations actually have a pretty poor prognosis when they're present in AVR, 
Uh, and uh, there is an associated uh, pretty high mortality, reinfarction and heart failure at the 90 day mark. So be careful. And you can now decide, is uh, ABR the forgotten lead or maybe the unforgettable lead? Uh, that's it for now, folks. Uh, this is Sush. Until next week, so long.